obviously in the past I didn't care a lot about how I did that. Um, now I kind of do, so sometimes I, I don't do it, sometimes even if I do it, I do it. The first instinct of dreams is to leave the wave and, and back off on the bad spot. My first instinct is to be ready to play no matter what happens, push the wave in, leave, so we don't die. Sometimes we discuss about it, sometimes we don't. Everyone has his problems. So last year we had a pretty successful season. We ended third place in summer split and barely uh, didn't make worlds. Going into this year, uh, it was very clear uh, pretty quickly that we just didn't, we're not in a position to attract known top talent. He's just 800 LP. He's just a go tier grab. Mm -hmm. 1200 LP this year. I don't know, I think he could be, could be good. All these others getting somehow super crazy offers, I don't see that, but it's the case and, and we will see us ourselves in, uh, in mid of November and then uh, figuring out who's available. Don't, don't see that scenario. I really see that scenario. We have locked in four players um, in two weeks. And then this will be... <laughs> I already knew at that point that we had some players in the team who wanted to leave, um, who wanted to see something different. And it was also at that point already quite, quite clear for me that our budget won't be like top, top, top budget. So this will be the hardest, but at the end, um, it will always work out somehow. We will, we will definitely do, don't play with four players. Yeah. <laughs> so we were in a position where we had to take some big risks. Um, we had to either go for some players that um, were risky veterans or rookies that we didn't feel were like super, super, super promising, like not the top rookies. So it was a hard position for sure. And we spent a lot of time in the off season trying to make the right decisions and put a lot of research into it. And we ended up coming into the roster that we chose for spring split with um, Forgiven, uh, with Gilius and Lurox as two junglers. We thought this could end up really well, but we were also um, um, realistic enough that we also knew this could end up bad, especially with the personalities we had. <laughs> so spring actually, is not like super super important so we have time to build uh, and to grow as a team um obviously <coughs> it would be fine to not fail in spring like we always do um, but we will see i mean you can fight as much as you want um in, in, in reviews and stuff like that but always kind of keeps keep a, a, a certain degree of respect to each other um, but that's, i mean that's, that's basic stuff i was really not happy that i had to play for schalke not because it was Schalke, but Schalke was my only offer that off season, and it was either take the Schalke offer or be jobless. I know. Yeah, I guess it was a point in a point in my career that there's just like nothing you can do, and it's just like one of those down moments where it's kind of like your only option. So I kind of took it and tried to like make the best out of it. I guess I saw it as an opportunity to make a comeback to the. EU scene, so I said yes, and I, they ended up taking me because I performed well in tryouts. And yeah, I was excited to, to see these names, you know. So it was definitely a risky roster. I know when this roster was announced, a lot of people were very um, excited, let's just say, and it started really, really badly. Three years is a long, long time, and I can't imagine myself seeing Forgiven, playing either Cassiopeia, Syndra, whatever <laughs> Perks will invent. That's a big question mark to me, man. His re-entrance into League is super, super exciting. We're waiting to see what form he can show up in because this guy is a legend just like you said. And Forgiven now on Schalke, no fear. Of course, Forgiven will want to prove something in this game and in this entire season. He'll want to prove that he is still that powerhouse in the bottom lane and that he is still the best by far as he makes his return to the LEC stage.
and uh, waiting to see for the engage. That's a flash board. The dredge line catches onto Toure. He's got exhaust and flash behind. Feathers have come out. There goes the engage from Gillis. He gets the knockup. Defensive flash from Forgiven. Expect is looking for a target of its dreams. That's going to go down. There will be a trade as Gillis manages to pick up Toure. Okay, not going to find it just yet. I'm looking for the explosive card. There goes out the ultimate from Dreams. The knockup. Gillis manages to put down the cataclysm. It's a tr this is good. This is good. This is good. Knocks down Toure. Unbreakable wall. Still standing. Still alive. The world was yelling, God given his back, and Exile said, Hello, this is Patrick. Uh, I just thought it would be tough for my mental because I heard uh, many stories about uh, Costas and it wasn't that great. Can you find it? I'm pretty, I'm, I'm thinking, I think I'm dead. I'm dead. Look, look, look. Yeah, LeBlanc just one shots me. Oh, how the f horrible play. I mean, I don't know, even if you take like the, f the worst players in the world and you put them there, they're still like, when you meet them and you, you start practicing, you're still like in that honeymoon phase, you know, where you're just like super motivated to make it work and it's not that bad and all of this stuff, you know. Don't be afraid to just fucking kill them if they're inting. Call your jungler if enemy is trading 24 7, stuff like this, okay? Oh, clean hook comes in from Hellasang out the back. I'm coming through the ignite, taking down first blood for Fnatic. Dip. Gilius, yeah. just use your camera. Just look at the lanes, okay? Yeah. You might see some really fucked up shit in the first clear or second clear of the game. Oh, oh rinse and repeat. Forgiven's in trouble. He wanted a 2v2 and he's not gonna get it. <laughs> Self made. Dunking down. Yeah. So that's the way back into the game. And then we just. Make them flip it at Nash. That's kind of the idea, you know? Yeah, Maybe we just focus on fight, okay? Focus on fight? Uh, I'm dead. Of... Five. I'm dead. We are just getting fucked on the map. It felt like a complete, completely new team, so in the first few games it's always... They're just trying to get going, starting like a new thing. It's just... Ball lane loses. Because they manage way poorly. Elise got me. Look at, look, look, look at MF. Erlon. Oh fuck. Kiana just lost my nuts. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. I don't know. Like, it just really depends on like scrim result. If you lose scrim, then it's a uh, really shitty atmosphere. I was really motivated to like make it work, and I expected that like you know. Things would be better than they actually were. Yes, but it feels like that Forgiven is still a little stuck in the past and relying on his old raw mechanics is not going to be enough in the current age of 80 carries. Yeah, I think that is a great point because Reckless... Do you think it's jungle support's job to go mid? If going mid is the right play? I think everyone's involved in this. There's a three-man job. Yeah. Sometimes information is not enough and you need a decision. Your other people are not good enough to make decisions for you. In most of the games we've played in general, we had early game leads, but misplays happen. Misplays our engage is not engaged, or communication is not there. Like when it comes to a point where we all have to come together, we don't. Because sometimes in a game like this, we actually want to give a mid power and play to your side, for example. Maybe we could have done yeah, that. Yeah, there, you know? there's a call. I don't hear us yeah. every 30 seconds asking the, uh, the three people minutes being like, do you want to contest this wave? Okay, let's walk up and do this, do that. Yeah. Or just AFK and let things happen to us. Um, I don't think like uh, it's like someone what is uh, you can help say what what guy like lost to the game or something. I think that's completely unfair and completely untrue. And I say it like with full honesty. I mean, obviously, as a jungler, you should be able to give more information. You should be more vocal. Like roles in the game, like mid lane jungle support need to be alphas in a way. Like alphas, not what alpha means, but means voice means not leadership means direction means information. Lurox will be in in place of Gilius. Now, very quickly, he and Shelka's ERL team are 6-0 and zero in the Prime League. That is the German and the Dach region's European Regional League. We started this by losing every game, and I felt like we needed to make some sort of a change. Um, at the same time, our academy team was undefeated in German League. Sleeping is nice. Da ist drin. Oh. Jetzt mit der Ulti. Oh, der Damage! Der Damage. Blue Rocks wird auf jeden Fall noch rein. Schöne Combo mit der Shockwave. Jetzt hat man plötzlich ein 2 gegen 1, aber es ist immer noch ein Plan. Jetzt immer noch Christ und Triple Kill, aber für Sertos. Blue Rocks. Oh, zweimal Shockwave und da kommt er dazu. So, yeah, uh, at that point, I think Blue Rocks was the best performing member on that team. Um, he was playing really, really well. 
I mean, I was really sad at that time, but I also saw it as a chance to work myself back up in the lower league. And I just tried to take it as a positive, you know, a little break from uh, LEC and then come back stronger. That's how I felt about it. It was just hard. We had a lot of strong personalities on the team and we were losing every single game. So it seemed like a natural fit um, to at least try making a change. And considering Lorox was like really, really smurfing, uh, it was the ch like change we decided to make. But yeah, I was mainly excited like to just scrim the full week with the LEC team and then to play on stage since it was no Corona time. So I actually had to play on stage. This was a <coughs> one, once in a lifetime chance. Yeah. Oh you my know, god. You know when the camera first went on Huni, what happened? <coughs> he did the holo holo. <laughs> and then I did it. And it skyrocketed his career. <laughs> Razor comes forward. Dragon's Rage kick is available to him as well. The depth charge will be used in just a moment. And now all of a sudden that's a kick back. Finds a knock up into Lurox. Give that man some air miles because Lurox went flying. Look on Zena, okay? Yeah, look on Zena. I'm losing. One HP, that guy. I'm you low. Have to run. Now we get murdered. Yeah. But these fights are so bad, like... Happened. Here comes Trick, they're going on Forgiven straight away. The Ignite is taking Forgiven flashes away. Trick on the chase, but he's gonna get the kill underneath the tower. Dream's unable to save his AD carry. Yeah. Like for example, against SK, could he, couldn't have happened because I said like to Han, like, move forward, just flick his hook. I, we trade some HP, I just put a potion and sneak the XP. So we don't get dove because in the scenario that Nautilus comes out of the tower, he does flash out attack, you get rooted. And you get killed, ignited. Damage from Runes, Damage from Zod Attacks, AD Car Hitting, Listen Flash, Flash Q, E, Dead. I will to Senna. I'm dying to Mars. Senna flashed out. I'm sounding two people. I'm very low, it's for country. I will die. Modern no Flash. Base, base, base. Nice try, guys. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Odo, for joining me. I just, I do, just want to make sure of something. Please tell me you're not gonna have a breakdown because I saw the tweet posted earlier today, and I'm really worried right now. <sighs> well, uh, if I am having one, at least it's not gonna happen uh, right now with the cameras here and stuff. But <sighs> I don't know. It's really disappointing. Uh, I, mean, I know. I'm not really used to being in this position, and I hate being in this position. And um, yeah, it's just yeah. something new and I need to deal with it. Maybe at this point we just need to try a lot of things and just see what clicks because what we're doing right now uh, is really not working. Every game that we played you just felt like more and more pressure and felt like we were gonna like, you know, get strangled at one point. Like, you know, the grip around our throats, you just kind of like get tighter and tighter, you know, with every game just because there was like so much negativity and pressure around it. And, it felt like we weren't really like gonna be able to fix anything. Yeah, the thing is, you don't know what he is. Also, no, we knew he was. I mean, we saw I mean, him more but, but, but he was kind of gone for a bit of a time. And I think you guys could have really easy, easily dived the one bot, but yeah. you guys had no balls. There was a certain member of the League of Legends LEC team that would stand out in the reviews and tell people what they are doing wrong in a sometimes aggressive manner. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the most effective way of doing reviews, but I think it, uh, it added these spicy flavors to our scrims. Forgiven was definitely like an interesting personality. He, like I admire the way he thinks for sure. Uh, he's always really confident and yeah, just like he, he also has, I don't know how to explain it, but this guy can focus when I like, when, when he get loads into the game, he has a laser focus and usually performs pretty well. So we never really saw his full potential, I would say. Good part is that I think if we successfully like go out of the like lane well and like scale well uh, we scale then i think he's he's like he was pretty good at like team fighting you know he was like he's, like really good at like dpsing and stuff problem is that 
It's, it was really hard to go through the lane. I mean, he was better than the time in H2K. He was like a lot more of a mature person. But I feel like he had too big of an ego for his actual skill level and what he wanted from like his teammates because he still believed that he was the best in the world and all of this stuff. I've worked with a lot of difficult players in my career and I would say for sure, like having forgiven on the team, he's one of the more difficult players. But honestly, nothing that couldn't have been dealt with if we had the stage results, I think. Uh, the problem was we lost every single game. It can be really hard, especially when you have emotional players and you have like a risky roster and things just don't work and they keep not working and you keep trying new things and you're just losing game after game after game. Um, so kind of it sent us in the classic esports spiral where people just get more upset so they play worse and then they get more upset and yeah. Personally, I got demotivated because I think we didn't have any team co cohesion and we didn't really like playing with each other. I was Probably our scrims were going worse, we were losing every game. So I think it was time for a much needed change at that point. I mean, at that point we were so deep in the hole, we were 0-6 and we were losing most of our games. I was happy because Inax came in and at least we had some, some quiet. Even if you would lose, at least it felt like we lost like a team, you know, and it wasn't instantly this like finger pointing thing of who entered who and who entered forgiven and all of this stuff, you know. That's how it works. Well, screens has the highest skill participation. Participation. Precipitation, you know what I mean? Precipitation. How much rainfall there is. <laughs> I think when Enix came in, he, he really surprised everyone he, because he played very well. And it also brought a more laid back kind of team atmosphere. Um, everyone was more chill and just fo focusing on what's in front of them. Just having the chance to go into main team, I think, like even if I'm not like ready, is good because I think when I was on main team, I improved way faster than I was on academy, just because of how like it's way more high stakes. Your scrims are better. You have better teammates that like know the game more, kinda. Um, so like you, ha you're kind of you're kind of forced to. <laughs> To learn uh, fast, else you know you just you're just out anyway. It's Schalke. They have been struggling so far this split, but they've made some changes coming into this week. But perhaps with the introduction of Inax and Lorox together, uh, from I've heard from many people that watch a lot of the ERL leagues that these are two of the prime players that have a good chance of competing at the LEC level. We'll get to see today how they stack. One v three. We'll see if he can do it again. Larson's here as well. Finn with the world end. The dream's trying to jump in, but Finn is in the back line. Inax almost down. That's one. That's two. Larson and Finn. It's just the rogue show here. Rogue take the Nexus Towers, Rogue take the game, they go 4 and 3 in the LEC. My expectations were like first of all to actually like get better and then focus on like actually getting to LEC. Just know when we can fight and not and then just play loose, if they're inting you just kill them. Alright, good luck guys. Let's get it guys, 1-7 incoming. Let's get it. You know what would yes. make me happy? What, a win? No. Bro, mid lane. Guys remember. Our academy team is 7-1. It's <laughs> destiny that today we win. There's no other way about it. He has no flash, go do it. I TP, I TP, I TP, I TP. I yeah, look for I Ryze, I go Ryze. Okay, okay. Yeah. He has no flash. flash. I can't help you. I come as well. Nice. Good. Yeah, yeah. Push this wave out. Push wave. I don't have a I have ward here. Can you chase him? Yeah, he he ult. Just force his, force his ultimate and he, see the position. He has no ult. No, no ult. No ult. No ult. Okay. Look, Lee. Look at Lee. Watch my position. I'm behind him too. Play slow. Oh, they're looking oh, for the collapse. This is proactive. I love this from Schalke. They're going for the fight. Oh, and that jumps straight into Caps. Oh, he dodges the Moonlight Ventral as well. Caps goes golden. I'm going here with a TP as well. And there's one. Perks, you're caught in no man's land. You're caught in the river. Schalke fight two. Need to base. Need to base, guys. Need to base. We have Nash. I told you. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Felios, Felios, Felios. Go base, go base. I base, I base. I'm by base. One guy base. Guy. Go base. Relax. Yeah. I'll base and you guys can defend. Can you fix bots? He's gonna get to the end. Can we end? Can we end? Can we end? Schalke have a wave that they can actually use this time around. Wonder doing what he can to interrupt, but those are 40 second death timers. Medic, I think this might be it. Get in! Get in! Guys, guys, please don't say we can end yeah. when they're up in 10 seconds. Come. Guys, I'm basic. Rise of flash, rise of flash. Okay, I go, I go. Rise, 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 rise. 
Just guys, take time. We can end, we can end, we can end. Okay, chill, 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 chill guys. Relax, relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come down, come down. Come down, come down. Come down. We win the game. We win the game. We win the game. We win the game. We win. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
und der dadurch den Nash stealt. Are you fucking kidding? Oh. Schalke 04, die wollen jetzt hier Spring Split Meister werden. Tolkien mit verzweifelten Versuchen hier das ist es. zu landen. Und Schalke 04 mit einem soliden vierten Game waren sie in der Lage, Mausboots zu besiegen. Welcome to Berlin, Germany and the LEC studio. Before our show, we received an update regarding the LEC spring split. In light of the uncertainty during the rapidly changing COVID-19 global pandemic situation and in an abundance of caution, we've decided to err on the side of player, fan and staff safety and suspend the LEC spring split until further notice. The Corona thing was, was really hard for everyone, I think. Um, I think it was hard for everyone in the LEC. Uh, I think we're we're lucky that even when things got bad with Corona, our jobs still go on, um, our life still goes on. We we even still get to compete um, because of the nature of esports. I think it was definitely hard in the big shift, and it was kind of hard for some people to keep motivation and have their um, individual performance as both staff and players be good throughout the Corona times. But at least the core of our lives is relatively unchanged compared to others. So although I don't think it was hard on the team, I think. If you take like an overall perspective on it, like uh, we, we got through it. Just like the practice before, we were all at home and doing scrim, like doing reviews and practicing over Discord only and like not meeting each other. Like all of us being like isolated in our room for basically two weeks. So yeah, in that way. And that should be the Elder at recess once again, but Bevis is not going to be able to get in that pit. The Elder Dragon taken here by Schalke, great stuff by them. And Abadage just jumps, oh, he, oh, flipping hell, Abadage just destroys them. He takes the triple, Misfits were not expecting that. Lolo's looking for the Sonic Wave, Abadage flashes forward, that's a quadra. Give him four, give him more. Vezel runs for the hills because he is all on his lonesome and Schalke are looking for the win. Misses the hook, uh, he lands his ultimate, the Elder one is going to go down as well, one for one so far, but Selfie and keeps the force off to the bottom side of this fight. Lorx goes low, but he's Ooh. Don just keep him alive. Cabochard in the bush. And uh, yeah, that's not the easiest place to get out of. Perk now coming into the backside. He's just shredding for the entire team. The Galleon's coming in too, and they've decided the game is over. Shout, you do not get to play any more League of Legends, because now G2 is angry, and they're looking to end the game just like that. And that's Ooh. a flash from Odo. Style points using the counter strike to headshot Larson's Corky. Once again, it's back up, stays within <laughs> the Vanguard's edge. Noda Wamne oh, has soon. just styled Shelka Force Rogue to take sixth place in the regular season. So I think that the offer from Schalke came in to, like, to me on a perfect timing because I'm just about to finish my master thesis. So uh, this is basically my first full-time job and being able to have my first full-time job uh, working in esports and something that I love and being able to be part of LEC is just like a dream for me, you know? So just was a no-brainer decision, to be honest. So basically what's fun is it's just to go to Rodrigo and tell him, okay, can you please check the habits of the of the enemy teams? Um, this is something I really like and I, I, I missed in the past, to be honest. This proactivity on level one. And I think Rodrigo is really, really great in, in being creative and helping us and the, the entire team to be creative. And uh, there will be many more tactics. Come. We had to do a lot of Band-Aid fixes in draft and a lot of Band-Aid fixes in gameplay to try and get our bot lane through laning phase. Um, it was it was difficult and a very like obvious weakness for our team. And for me, like I knew we had talent in both bot lane and talent in top side, but like there was just too much of a weakness and I wanted to try and fix it, do something to try and make this not a weakness going to summer so we can actually compete in the top spots. Um, so we basically, we tried to do trials. We tried out supports from outside of the LEC team. We tried out both of our uh, on roster ADCs, Neon and Inax. We tried out a lot of combinations. Unfortunately, um, I feel that we didn't have enough time to do these tryouts. And I believe two of the players that we tried out for extended periods of times, we were not able to sign. 
in the off season. We are all like hopeful because we are being told that, oh yeah, this can happen for sure. This can happen. Yeah, mm, it's no problem. It can happen. And then at the end of the day, when it actually came down to making an offer, it was like, it was not even close to being a reality. And it was probably never, ever going to happen, even from the beginning. I don't know. I, I guess the whole thing with like getting him was just really, 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 really wishful thinking. Overly wishful thinking. Way overly wishful thinking. Like I can't stress how much wishful thinking it was. Like that's how unrealistic it was. Uh, I guess these things could have been handled a bit better. I also think it was a bit unlucky, for sure. Um, and then we had to use basically the first weeks of the LEC trying out different bot lane com combinations, both internally and on stage, until we found something we were happy with. Even though Neon and Dreams were winning lane every time, we were just losing games, so it's just a matter of deciding if you want to lose lane and win the game, or if you want to win the lane or lose the game, so we just went for the first one, you know. They are up versus Schalke, no fear, in this first game for Vitality. And for Schalke, well, their spring split was not amazing all around, but they did have a second round Robin as a silver lining. They really found their footing in the second half of the split, and I guess that's what you have to look at when you look forward with this team. I mean, I'm going to be blunt, Shocks. Yeah. Gilius and Forgiven were a problem on this team. I think that they had high expectations that were not met in the first half of the split, and because of the constant roster shakeups, Schalke could not find an identity. I mean, this should just be an absolute massacre. Yumi Ezreal gonna run through the entire team. Melitza as well. Coming in. And he should be able to pick up that kill as well. Inax of VGenax. I know who wins this one. No flash available. The shockwave pulls it back. It's done. It's done. Rogue have shut down Shelka. They want to finish him and they take him down before the all comes out. Dreams left all on his lonely and it's just too easy for G2 Esports. Razak will take down Oda one day. The last person standing is Dreams. Shelka get aced. And X, I think team fights very well. I think, I think he's he's very talented player, but unfortunately, on stage for the first three games, like once again the laning phase was really weak, and we ended up playing these games from behind, which again it was just something from Spring Split I was trying to fix. I feel like at one point we were just losing lane too hard, and then we went on stage, then enemy gets like Drake, Herald, Drake, Herald, and then at this point it's like really hard to play the game. So like it's kind of makes sense that they bench us both. Like even if I'm mechanically good, if if the team isn't playing well and we don't really bring anything that the team can work with, then it's better to try other stuff, which is kind of what happened. It was like really like doomed, right? And I I thought I saw that, and after I told like I will subbing into like in with like Neon and me, I didn't expect like our ADC team will change that much. Like what I knew is that as long as I perform well and to my level, like it's already gonna be an improvement. So that's what I really try to do, to like make bot lane not be an issue. Bye bye to the Ash, no hope for Neon in this one. Spin, spin goes the monkey, Abadage gonna run for the hills, but the monkey bear combo is a little bit too much for Abadage. Oh, fantastic game from start to finish. You. That was mad disrespectful special, I respect it. Flashing the Shalka, no fear. Now no Zex. Well, I don't intend on stopping to try and figure out what's going bad in our official matches and try to fix our plans. Obviously, what we tried today really, 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 really did not work. Um, I think for tomorrow, uh, we'll see which side we are. And I think once again, just try and pick something that can be a bit more active in the game. Seems kind of similar to some of our other stage matches. And try and be really careful with our counter picks to try and get more value out of them as well. For me, it's <laughs> not easy to discuss these details. Yeah, no, to... I don't mean to stuff. I just mean it's more like this is. It's like everyone is underperforming very hard when it comes to stage. And yeah. I was here for the scrims, fine, and then... But we have to adapt somehow, because this was today... Disappointing is very, yeah. very nice word about that. Yeah, it was not a good one. And it's, it's already the second after SK game. 
Yeah. It just didn't get a single tower. One kill. Which game? This one. This one, yeah. I think versus SK it also didn't get a tower. So I, I took a lot of time reflecting and trying to figure out what the differences were between stage, between scrims, what was causing us to actually lose these games, um, were my players underperforming, when it matters, were they choking, is it draft issues, is it a playstyle thing? And I, I basically came up with a bunch of changes and we went through a process. Um, this is like kind of as Gillis is joining the team, but it was together with him to try and turn things around. The night before the Origin game, I got contacted at like 12 in the night that I need to play. Lurox is sick, so it was real, really bad because I had to take a train ride early in the morning and my sleep schedule was, was uh, a disaster, like waking up really late always. So, but the, I mean, I, I was really motivated when I got the message because I felt like at that time I was in a good form again and I can play really well because I spent a lot of solo queue so I was motivated to be here again but at the same time I would have wished maybe I could have been subbed in <laughs> with having normal sleep you know and all of a sudden this guy is just playing so good and the reason he got subbed out at the beginning in spring was that he would do things by himself and people would notice and he would just kind of get caught and die. But now, like, he kind of like fixed those problems and when he came in now, he would still want to do these like solo plays that are kind of like maybe not so great, you know, but you kind of say, he would say, hey, I want to do this. And people would yell at him and say, no, 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 it's bad. And he would listen. Before he, this wouldn't happen, he would say, we would say no, 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 and he would still do it and he would die and there would just be like a lot of random deaths, you know, that would just kind of like destroyed the game but now he had people to like back him up and tell him to like not do it and stuff like this you know so that aspect of his game got cleaned up a lot and it just felt really good it felt like he was a pressure point instead of just like someone that you drag around to do things for you you have to step up they have vision look, on you Abba. look maybe look, 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 look they're up. walking they're up coming. it's not We're bad F burn volley by rules um, we can kill him i think he's dead i think he's dead I'm kinda chunked, I'm kinda chunked. And uh, Alfari does not want to fight this Gwyn, but he definitely wants a piece of Gilius as he's gonna move in for that one. And oh, look at that! Just in time for the R cooldown. Odawamne might as well be named after you. That's gonna do it, sadly for Shalka. Not able to find a win here. Will be 07 as OG clean up their performance yesterday. And yeah, 07 losing streak. Um, still can't go to the studio. Uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, wasn't the same feeling as the, the losing streak when we were forgiven on the team where there was a lot of drama and internal issues. It was just more like frustrating and disappointing, I would say. Um, a lot of us didn't really understand why we were losing. And I, actually, that's something I struggled with a lot and I had to really take a look at our gameplay and try to figure out what is actually causing losses on stage. I was in pretty good terms with everyone on the team. And I think Dylan won a lot of trust in me with the scrim results. And then, yeah, he sadly lost again. Look here. I'm going. Yeah. I've I can move Ori. Look Ori. Ori is ulted. Ori is ulted. I don't think we have follow. Kill Ori. Kill Ori. My hook in two. That's My enough. That's enough. 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 I'm sending Rift we out. We can still okay? fight. And the Mad Lions game was really close. I could have carried the game, but had an end moment at the Drake. He's in the they bush, the bush that spawned Ender. because the ocean they lake. Know. They don't know, Ender. Oh, they don't no. know. Oh, but it's Shadow. No, no, oh, no, no he no, runs no. forward. Shadow's going to try and get onto him. He stuns him. Oh, Gilius. Oh, no. He gets oh, caught no. out as Humanoid takes him down. Mad Lions here. 420 up as they uh, add one on towards that. 10,000 goal lead for them, and this has turned into a demo. You guys really, I told you guys in streams, you can't fucking go top, push two waves, base. No, but it's not No, okay. it, it's shit because it's I was okay. turbo ahead on this guy, and the way you guys did your macro moves got me behind. I mean, if you're not, if you're not capable of adjust, adjusting in game, because we're so fucking strong that we can get prior anywhere we fucking want.
it was pretty much like, okay, I really need to focus on myself to just look good because this, this team is a drowning ship, you know? Like the only thing that I can do basically is just like play the best myself and if you lose, we lose, if we win, we win, you know? And I try to not look at anything else. Alka have looked a little better. Look, Gilius has come in. There's a few more, let's say, breaths or wisps of life on the Schalke 04 front. What are the odds that Schalke can upset Fnatic today? I mean, it, it's super, super low. I think that this is, by all means, a game Fnatic should win. And for Fnatic, for Fnatic fans, winning this game does not tell you Fnatic yes. is back. But anything short than complete and utter domination of Schalke will continue to plant seeds of doubt in Fnatic fans. Let's walk. Okay, nice right here. I can, I can look to Iet here. Yeah. I'll try to block the hook. Okay. Let's go. Gets the kick on to Nemesis, the solar play comes down and goodbye Syndra, self-made now on the front line, has the Void Rush, here comes the depth charge from Hillisang for the hero's entrance, might keep Gideon's alive, it does, Void Rush wasn't used, TP comes in, as uh, now Hillisang is in a world of hurt. He should die here. Stop watch, I've stopped watch, I've stopped watch. There's a Rex side next to you. Oh, I need help. Eyes on Rex side. I'm looking. Got this guy. Got this guy. Rook on the flash. Rook on the flash. I'm still looking. I'm looking at Rex side. Okay, good. I think that's enough. Okay, okay. Sundra, Sundra, no flash. I'm coming. And peel, peel, peel back, peel back. Kaisa on me. Kaisa. Kaisa, no flash. Kaisa, no flash, Kaisa, no flash. Go mid, go mid with the ref. No way. We fucking did it. Oh god, we did it. We fucking did it. Oh. Let's fucking go, Let's boys. Everyone. Nice, nice. So, uh, okay. I can't believe I'm the only one who actually died, man. Oh my god. Wait, what? Can we just go inside? I don't know. They're calling him no Let it be known. You may beat Schalke eight times, but no one beats Schalke Nullfear nine times in a row. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely think we gained some confidence back this week. We could go head to head with Metal Lions and we beat Fnatic. Um, I think this week just showed that we can finally transition our scrims to the uh, important matches, play exactly like we play in scrims. But yeah, um, more sick performances in coming the next weeks, that's all I can say. Prior to the SK Rogue week, we actually won every leg like, scrim. We were stomping everyone left and right. But sadly, I was only playing Lee and Olaf in scrims. And then I went on stage and Lee and Olaf were banned. So yeah, that was not so good. A good start to the second half of the split for them if they can take this one down. Finn pops the Dominus, Inspire tanking up as many Nexus Towers as he wants. Stream's got a ball. Abadage chased out by Larson pops the stopwatch, but all you're doing is delaying the Grim Reaper, my friend. But I don't know, we're playing Grace TF, yeah, and we just dive in and we don't cross over, and we're behind both mid jungle the whole game, so it's just unplayable, I guess. I feel like in practice here, we would just win mid jungle, and then we would just win the game. But SK uh, in a slightly strange position. Janax jumping forward. Look at the damage from the cannon right there. Abadage goes down. Dreams has fallen as well. And Neon finally gets away from the shockwave. But all he's going to do is run back to his base, which is in shambles. Flashes away. Trick continues to chase. And here comes Zazi. One auto limit will take the kill. He's on a rampage on this part. I believe he is unkilled this game. 4 0 16. A site for supports everywhere. SK going to get their first 2 0 week here in summer. But like, I, okay, the thing is the cons in the game were really tragic because here I'm just kind of like giving suggestions because if I remember correctly, I'm like, maybe Olaf needs to cover both here, I say in game. I don't know, it's, I just feel like the people that are supposed to be leading the game are not leading the game. And after 
this zero two, it was very frustrating. And I think a lot of people thought the split was over. That was when like, I'm talking to staff and stuff and people are like talking about next year, you know, already um, after this one. Like we're in time. I mean, like yeah, if, we we don't, are, if we don't flash in. Yeah, we are, but it's already like level five when they started the hell, so we're kind of forced to do this and we have to run into them and we're running into like a Rihanna show. We had made playstyle changes um, through good adjustments and study. And then I think the last one was, uh, was uh, I just learned a lot and the team learned a lot about how to draft and making drafting changes. I think once all these three things were in place, it was kind of natural that we started winning. Um, the hard part was we had to win every single game. But I think it was kind of natural at that point that we started winning. I think it was something we deserved for the work we put in and I think our team was good enough to start picking up wins. I'm coming, we can fight. He's alone, he's alone, he's alone. He's alone. It's good fight, it's good fight. I hook in four. Good job. Nice. Nice. Didn't connect and Mickey's gonna flash across the wall as Oda Wamne goes forward. Perks with the Crescendum, with the Calibrum, gets hooked! He's just too far forward, now he's gonna put some damage. Abadage! Here's the fight from Abadage. He has had a dire split, but in this game he's showing up and Caps is not. He whiffs the shockwave wide enough to cut the grass in the jungle of Shalka. Oh split dreams once again with the hook. And Schalke have done it. They found their second win against the other finalist from Spring Split. The shuffle in. Let's go. We entered some drafts, but we still won the game sometimes. But I just think that we kind of got really ahead of the meta. I don't know, I just came in with a lot, lot of energy and motivation. Wanted to really win and I kind of knew how to win in the, in the meta back then, like a lot of early aggression, playmaking. So I, I just wanted to bring that to the team. And I think when your jungler does a lot in the early game, everyone just eases up and can do a lot more in the game. So I think I helped with that as well. They're going, they're going. I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's good, it's good, it's good. Can you keep Can going? Keep chasing, no flash. Let's hit this, Dress. Yeah. Do we, do we get this? Nice, spot him out. I think. Oh, but it might not matter. In goes the Nocturne. Oh, no, he wants that. The, the Nocturne is just so far ahead. There's nothing that they can do. Odawamne desperate to get into the fight, but he doesn't have the flash. Now misses one to turn. Chocolate's going to hit three, but Kade and Feather are still in touch. Odawamne going forward, but he's not really hitting anyone of importance. It's a slow, steady team fight. Shalka still able to win the day. Big damage on the Neon, though. Feather has to run for the hills because Dreams, it doesn't matter who he's playing. He's still in aggressive support. Leaps in. Now flashing over the wall. Dreams, a man without fear. The Tom Kench hungry for a meal. He's going to grab a kill of his own. Gifts it over to Neon and Shalka. And Noel Fia are going to take the game. Ever since Gilius joined the team, uh, things have gotten a lot more, let's just say, like fun and funny. Uh, he's, he's a big joker and he's really fun and brings a lot of, I think, positive energy and a lot of aggressiveness to the team. So uh, it's been really nice having him here. And we can see that and the synergy works yeah. really well with the other players. Now, the casters were talking about either the mir Miracle Run or the Blue Shell Schalke for the rest of this season. So how do you foresee things developing for the remaining weeks? Um, I feel pretty good about where we're at right now. I think we're, I'd assume we're going to win some games um, in the last half of the split. I think we play some teams that we're actually quite advantaged against. Mm -hmm. I think the Miracle Run is pretty hard, to be honest, cause especially considering the way the standings are, but we'll, we'll, tr we'll try for it. I mean, I just saw no reason to believe it was over. Because, like, what does it give me? It's just going to make me play worse. Like if I don't give a f shit about the results, it's gone. Like I just always try to stay positive and optimistic that I can achieve something this split. Like even if we would have won a lot of games and then not make it in, in the playoffs in the end, at least we did something. At least we won some games. That's my what my mindset was. And my brother and me, when we were one ten, we calculated like how possible it is to make it. And he just said to me, "You have to win." 90% of the next games to make it, like possibly. And if you win all, you make it. I didn't really try to like think that, okay, we will success miracle or something. I didn't try to like hype myself, like we will do it and stuff. I just tried to like stay calm. Like if something happens, it happens. 
It is the worst draft of, of this. Uh, without a doubt. Really? Without a draft, this is. Oh, no. Some of the other ones were like playable. This one is really bad. I want us to keep an eye out on TP advantages and disadvantages before we make a play. Time summoner spells, play around them, and just be confident, guys. We're here to fuck them up. Yeah, he has cleanse, but no flash, okay? I, I can just flash on Ezreal, okay? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. gonna look, look, actually. Actually, if I ult Yumi here... Yeah, we can so look, I'm look at TP. I'm looking at TP now. Tomcat's <laughs> running forward. Yumi all gonna be used. They already burned the Yumi all on the catfish, but it was all just a big bait. One more time, baby. Big Mac. One, two, three. That's it. Gilius takes him down. Oh, yeah. Thanks. XL, they look like they had a bit of reprieve, but the ultimate comes through from Gilius. Oh, that's gonna be it. There's no coming back. He's sleepy in the Golden State. Special gonna run for the hills, but that's gonna do it. Shalka, my god, what a dominating performance. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, playoffs, boys! Guys, chill out, chill out, chill out, push. Kill this guy? Kill the Nexus, I think. Uh, this guy don't have flash, by the way. No! Yes! Okay. I was really sweating after draft. I came in here and said, sorry guys, we did this. No, Actually, I, I, when I saw the draft, I was like, quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they are fucking Jax, Yumi, Galio. How unstoppable can this guy be? Yeah. Um, final question, Odo. Uh, we're talking about the miracle run, the possibility for Shalka Nil Fear, and it is going to be incredibly hard, obviously. What to you uh, is the single most important thing that you guys as a team are going to have to focus on in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I think just take it game by game because I think that if like there's still four games left in the split and even like even like that mathematically if we win all four games it's still not really like a super high chance that we make playoffs so i think if we just focus on our performance first to like have good games and clean games against the teams and we get wins from that then if the gods rule it in our favor then uh, we will make playoffs and win worlds but if not then uh, yeah that sucks <laughs> And let's see, this dragon could be influential. If Origin pick it up, they are one away from the soul. Yes, you've got a very good rocket grab onto Odawanda. He's going low. The devour was fantastic from Dreams. Bought a lot of time. Call of the Forge got split OG. And now Abadage, he's already taken down Nuketuck. He flashes to safety. The tower's still up. OG are wrecked. OG are locked in between the Royal Blue. And they are going to get aced. Oh there is no my god. <laughs> Oh my god. God Gilius giveth. God Gilius takes. If he steals this Baron. God Gilius needs to rise up for the Royal Blue and Shalka no fear. He's got Flash, he's got Smite. Neon's he's got still a there as well. Gun from Neon. 4,000 HP, 3,000 HP, 2,500. Oh, he goes to the rocket pad. Pulled inside, Flash down, goes back in. Gilius he is still there. He does it. Gilius, you are a god amongst men. We still it. We can end mid here. Help Maybe. Tom. I have ult soon. I have ult now. Can't do much right now. I'm pushing away. Let me get him. One I'm, kill. I'm so kind of. Yeah, One kill, please. Is that still I think we. I think we. <laughs> yeah! Our We're the fucking best team in the fucking our, league. Man. Our miracle run is still standing. Let's go! Fucking miracle. Run. Let's go! Let's fucking go, guys. Let's go, man. Let's get started, of us. Yeah, man. I'm not. I'm not a cringe huddler as well, but I think it calls for it. Great job, guys. Honestly, guys, let's just finish the split with no fucking fear whatsoever. Okay? We go. We have three games left. We win them. The split is in our hands. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Nobody thought it was even remotely possible, but here we are. Okay? So let's do. I guess. Shaka, 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 Shaka. Go down, though. Don't slap each other. <laughs> One, two, three. Shaka. That the goal is to just knock OG out of playoffs and make playoffs ourselves, you know. And if we if we make it happen, it's gonna be the biggest miracle run in EU history, I think. Yeah, Odo is the kind of guy who's like, yeah, guys, don't get any hope. Uh, just take it game by game. And I'm here saying stuff like, we're gonna make playoffs, guys. We can do it. I mean, today there was a graph on Twitter, like four percent chance for us to make playoffs. Mm -hmm. And I I'm still believing. 
we will still work really hard. And if it happens, it happens. And then we make worlds, you know. I think we were always good enough, but we just weren't able to show it. So I think when we went 110, everyone just said to themselves like that we are going to play without regrets now. And if we lose, we lose and it's, we can't make playoffs. But if, if we win as many go games as possible, it's just the best outcome for everyone. Wait, so for like 4,000 or 5,000 possibilities just went down to make this by But every time you do this, half the possibility is deleted. Yeah. That's just how it works. But not half. Defense. 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 This one, if OG wins, it's not half, it's like a quarter. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. If OG wins, it's very narrow, narrow oh. thing. But, oh. but, 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 of these possibilities, a lot of these are quite likely to happen, by the way. Mad winning, G2 winning, this misses for vitality is unlikely for sure. Wait, see, so if Mad versus a support in that, what, what Yeah, because it's seven wins. So if Mad or, or... You know what I mean? This yeah. Really yeah. What if you go 0 three, can we make it? <laughs> we went into the final week um, using half of our practice to practice specifically to prepare for a Fnatic match. And we uh, used 50% of our practice to prepare specifically for a Vitality match. Because they can't really hook you like yeah. this. But if they have Blitz, we can just swap the Dragon and just stack in the bush. But no, then don't, it's, waste the word don't waste the word on the Dragon. Might as well just fucking ward the Tri brush and sit, uh, ward yeah. and sit behind it. Yeah. Because I think if you sit behind it... Because they'll face check it and then we can... Yes, I think if you sit yeah. behind it and we have vision in it, then I think it's won. I really started to believe uh, go, going to the final league because we are just... We just had a really good momentum and I just deeply don't believe that we could make it. We, we beat Fnatic already like on the first half and Vitality we were always winning against them Scream, so I really had high hopes that we could make it. Okay, so basically... In this one, they went from from river like this, you know. And this one, they just come here and they they go up. They went into river after this. Yeah. Like on the no, right. some of them, I think. Like this one. They no, they play for this ward here. Yeah. To contest this, if enemy bot lane does the same ward. Yeah. And that's a different one where they just want to invade. These are both different. The right one is trying to catch someone that's standing yeah. in a secret location. The first one is secure a late ward. That's what these are for. And then once we're a good team, I think momentum does play a big factor. So in addition to that, you, you just it's, it's a lot easier to try stuff, to experiment. Um, if a counter pick works in scrims, it's a lot easier to bust it out when you're uh, basically winning almost like every single game. Do we have team speech or we just go? No, just one thing. Just be all five involved in the same play, even though it's not directly affecting you. We have nothing to lose again. If we see a good play, we go for it, okay? Target. By the way, Teleport's still not available for Buepos. He's pushing the bottom lane. And we've just randomly caught Hillisang. Fnatic looked at Schalke walking towards them, and they've lost one. Now Reckless was caught up by the Tempered Fate, and here comes Buepo. It is the turnaround. It's a 5 on 4. Buepo is destroying the HP bars, but there's no support. Can we still go? I vault, I vault. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Look, I think. That's the engage! That's a catch! And now Reckless is left alone. Gilius was able to lock down Nemesis. No flash. Okay, no Can you ward? Can you ward? I can put ward here. I have the ping. We fight this, we fight this, we fight this. How did he do that? The bone skewer into showstopper. Gilius flashes off the wall. Finally, Reckless is taken down. The Hex deck ultimate blocks in Nemesis. The Conky is down. It's a double kill for Rabadage on Azia. Does indeed very good. Or does he? Fate. It's Hillisang again. Hillisang thinks he does, but it's a trade of one for one. Neon manages to take out Nemesis, and now Fnatic are running for the hills. Brippo cannot get away from the CC. Glacial Prison's available for Gilius, and he's not even going to need it. Let's go! Oh. No! no! I think oh it's not really God. over, by the way. It's over, I think it's we over. can, I think we can, I think it's we can. Over, it's over, it's over. It's 20 seconds, 20 seconds. I already to called you. The impossible odds in front of Shelka, and they do it. No! Yes, no. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, let's go. 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 Let's go.
fijn je denkt dat ik gang met de hart. Ja, ja, ja. How are you, bro? How do you feel? First of all, I want to say we are we were sweating because it was so hot today and so much humanity, you know. But I don't know. It's happening. Do you still believe? I mean, if there is a Schalke logo, if if you are the Schalke, if you have a Schalke soul, soul, you, oh, there's always hope, and we will do it. I believe it. Comp still standing. Schalke scrambling to find these kills, but they won't get the opportunity. That's a triple dot. That's big damage coming in. Oh, you were worried about the Kha'Zix, but you didn't know the Shen hit like a truck. Gilly is now coming through the fight. Stealth gonna have a brief moment here. Gonna find another one. The reset comes out. Dreams, Abadage. Little girl, little cat. What can they do here? Taking down the big man. Oh, big man. Mecha said no chance. There's nothing you can do, Cabo. You're just gonna be embarrassed after this one. Your champion has no agency. Oh, 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 oh. Auto attack, but hasn't found it quite yet. Skeens going in, Bullbear going in. Gilly's got it. Gilly's fans it. And Neon now on the chase. LeBron has made it out for now. Magical journey through the wall. Good damage coming in from the backside. That frozen mallet making it impossible to get away. The binding will not connect. And look at the damage coming in from Abadage. Odawande over the wall. The Ezreal over the backside. It's just too clean. Shalka are mowing down Vitality. And that's it. Nexus exposed. Shalka, the miracle run alive. They will have to step over the body of Vitality to make it happen. But they're more than happy to do so. Nice, nice, guys. Woo! Nice job, guys. Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Let's go, man. After that fight, Abe, they showed the EU Zoe statistics. 3 in 10, 3 wins, 10 losses. <laughs> and then they showed the damage graph, where you did 7,000 damage in one team fight. <laughs> Cards it doesn't really play Santa that much. Doesn't? No. I mean, yeah, they haven't played the farming yeah. Santa, right? They have never played farming Santa, and his solo queue doesn't have that much, so we just flip it. And if he plays it, then you just play the game. Yeah. yeah and okay. Maybe we just play MF into it because MF used to be good against like Santa, no? Uh, no, not really. The Actually, past? MF is pretty terrible into Santa, I think. Okay, then see ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no option then. See ya. I think we need to play Aphelios and uh, we look to swap for Herald. Get you want to level one so change the whole plan to pick Sion and just level one so <laughs> actually no man actually that's no, 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 no. I, think, uh, I think we are going too crazy if we do that What's about we actually done? hit the right spot in the meta and we knew what to pick and we knew how to play with our champs so at one point we got ahead of the rest of the league kind of or like some teams at least channel three so we can't bet like a meal channel no? because it seems pretty obvious yeah, can you meet Hazix again? Um, there was two matches that were extremely important to us after we won against Vitality. One was Exile versus Fnatic. If we were, if Exile was to win this match, um, almost everything would be in our hands. We would just win and we'd be through. And there was even a crazy case where we would make it anyways. So this match was really important, and unfortunately, it did not go our way. It was very one-sided, and. Then we were kind of not, uh, our fate was not in our own hands. The second match that was incredibly important for us was the Misfits versus Vitality match. And this one was a bit special because both Misfits and Vitality were technically already eliminated. So we kind of relied on the fate of two teams that were already out of playoffs. And we really, really, really needed one team to win to have a much, much higher chance of making playoffs. So. I know a bunch of my guys are friends with the guys from Misfits and we're all just kind of like talking to them and trying to hype them up to get like the best prep and just try their hardest to try and win this game for us. Yeah, so be before the Super Week I messaged Fibivin that we really need them to beat Vitality for us to make playoffs. And I remember him, him telling me, well, we just went to party before the game since we're out of playoffs anyway. So, but I'm gonna try my best, I'm gonna win. That's what he wrote to me. Yeah, I just trusted him and he actually ended up smurfing. <laughs> Thank God, that was quite funny. Yeah, Fabian was for sure the, the hero of the miracle run. Nice! <laughs> Someone's in this place. 
Huh? Someone is in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. I'm the biggest cover fan in the world right now. Us being in the hands of other people and other people's performance felt so much worse and so much more nerve wracking. Ben, 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 please. Very good person. But it's so disgusting. These people are just keep throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing. This match was so actually so important for us, especially because they were losing for the first, uh, I think, half of the game. Baron is taken by Misfits. I ran out of words. Magical Journey sends all of Vitality chasing down Denik and Dan Dan. Denik will get dunked underneath the tower. Oh, oh the fucking God. portal, dude. Oh, man. That's fine. All right, Kevin is still in game. He's still in game. One down, Febovin was looking for a long time how to find comp, but now it's Melitz on the back line. Okay, Lovrov will find the dredge line there. That's one. Dan Dan. Oh! Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Looking for Danny, but that's not Kobe. Using Caitlyn's range to perfection. Gonna sidestep everything. Continues to miss the skill shots. Despite being caught by the ECA, has summon a heal. Turns the attention. Oh. Nexus, Kobe continues to hammer away. And Misfits take down Vitality. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys! Oh my yeah, I know Maurice was texting oh me as well. Oh We're alive, boys. We're alive! How many do you think up to us? Yo, guys. We win this. Caps and battles. Fabian had us in this one. For you. The game against. Mad Lions was the only one that I was really worried because, especially because we didn't have like set side selection. And I remember that blue side was really a uh, high winning side for that patch. So I was really worried about the match against Mad Lions. Remember guys, five man, same play. Don't freak out, trade objectives when we need to. Don't end your waves and just, if you have bomb comp, just wait for level 6 and we bomb them. Okay, so we got the 2 on 2. Arome is going to step backwards. Gilius takes a lot of damage, forced to flash. Shadow chases as well. Arome is being chunked down by Odo. Gilius goes low. First blood secured against Gilius. Although they burned it down, Tempered Fate comes in, buys enough time. Human and Shadow are going to be waiting around inside the pit. It's a spike it. fight, and it goes the way of Gilius. Of course it does! That's the first dragon for Shalka, delaying the dragon win condition. Humanoid gets a massive double W inside the pit. Now Gilius is getting... Watch Karzy though, watch Karzy! Hopping, skipping, jumping, the ring was fantastic. He flashed it! Forced to flash! He just survives a few seconds longer, but does get taken down in the end. Odo and Odo Abadage chasing. That's a flash over the wall for Karzy, and they managed to take him out. Humanoid gets chunked out, and here comes support from Shadow. Help Ape, help Ape! I'm okay, look. Can oh, I? We got him, got him dead, they are low. This is fine, I think, this is fine, I think. Only no ult. Someone. Maybe we can... Look, Bard in the pit. Okay, no ult, Leblanc, no ult, Leblanc. Only no ult, he's fucking up for the... Look at this, look at this oh, guy. No way, no way. Look, Alista. Yeah, you can, can try to hit him. Volley, volley, volley. Kill volley, volley first, volley first, volley first. Okay, nice. Nice. Can we no Nash, can we Nash? Oromi is going to be able to flash away from that glacial prison. The Tempered Fates buying Looking so much time. Abadag is going to be able to win the fight. He takes down Oromi. Now Neon is forced to run for his life as the Stand United will complete. Gilius is now, with the help of Abadage, pushing down that top lane. Dreams and Neon, that's the flash! flash. He manages to catch Humanoid! Humanoid's able to escape with a flash over the wall. He dashes away with that Mimic. Now Kaiser and Shadow backing out. Shulker, they're not giving up yet. That's the chains connecting on Odo. Forced to be devoured there by Dreams. Abba keeps pushing forward. Got no rockets in the inventory. 
This is potentially good for Mad Lions. They have multiple skirmishes in a bigger 5v5. This is where they thrive. Gilius is down, but it is at the cost of Kaiser. Look at Rome. Arome. Arome's trying to hunt down Neon, but he can't do it just yet. The Ranger's focus comes out in the volley as well. Neon stays alive, tries to run for his life before finally he's taken down by Shadow. Avadage, who was jumped on first. That's a triple. The last That's one. a quadra. Okay, I package, I package, we get. Yeah, we get this next week. Okay. I'm gonna push one more time. The zero What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Ash is on the verge of picking Wait up for the fight. Win. The soul is It's Gilius it. again! Gilius does not lose those! We win, we win, we win! I think we win. We win I'm for the blank. I got the blank. ulted me. Like, look, Kalista, look, Kalista, look, Kalista. This is the game for Shelka! They've won the fight, they're gonna get the ace! They're not gonna lose a single person! And they've got enough time to push down the base! Can we end? We can end, we can end, we can end. We can end, maybe. Mid, 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 mid. It's oh, all sure. I'm not gonna scream yet, okay? It's over though. Just go out with really sad faces. Uh, can we really only hit? Faces. Can we only hit, by the way? Abadag, you're the best yeah, player in the world, by the way. Only yeah. hit. <laughs> I agree on that one, by the way. We actually did it. I can't no, believe we it. We did it. Like, we're so good, by the way. Only yes, hit. let's act like we lost, okay? okay. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Everyone's sad faces, okay? Oh, we fucked him. <laughs> How fucking good are you, man? Oh, shit. Let's go. Holy shit, guys. Holy. Let's go. It's on a tight fire. Yes, fucking yes. What? I said it looks like we lost. Motherfucker, man. Did you guys believe me when I was like, no, no, no. We heard the was way too weird, man. I think we heard them say, and end the game, end the game, and then they all went silent for about 30 seconds. Uh, they're trying to trick us, like, like they lost and come out at Gillis. We kind of knew they probably won the game, but it was a good one, for sure. We can still not make it, by the way, guys. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer in the house, but... But you know, at least if we didn't make it, we celebrated like we won world. <laughs> That's the positive. It's like my dream set, it's like my wet dream, you know, you celebrate like you won worlds, but you actually get FIFA. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm just really grateful that everyone just kind of like try their best, you know, and play their hearts out just for like, I mean, everyone was saying that, oh, we want to make playoffs and stuff, but in reality, people just didn't want to end up 117, you know, so I'm just really happy that all the guys just tried their best and we just picked up some wins, so everyone's just like less depressed, you know? Yeah. It was, this was 20% from the village. I never this, this was a bad feeling. Oh, man. Nice draft, thanks, everyone. But red side, you still exude at them. I know. It's so insane. I actually it's not a lot in Kazakhstan, so I'm so used to it. Like yeah, we really needed either G2 or uh, SK to win their games. And I think we all really, really thought that G2 would win their game. Like, nobody wanted to say it out loud, but we felt like that they, they were on a huge win streak, they're super good, and they're super favored. We did everything we could at that point, and we just had to hope. However, if XL win, XL lock playoffs themselves, and if Fnatic win, Fnatic will lock playoffs, and if both of them win, then Schalke is actually locked out of playoffs. That's the only way this miraculous team, this 1 and 10 to 8 and 10, this epitome of underdog stories, will not make it. Comfortable, Cadro's gonna get hooked, Cadro's gonna go down, dunked back just to be certain, and G2 will grab another. Oh, oh, perks! 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 Oh, he lives! He's the boy who lives! G2. Taking their time, looking for the reset. Jumping in, they found Patrick, they found a kill. That's the shutdown. Special trying to buy as much base as possible, but that's a sleepy Camille. Big damage, big dunk, and Excel gonna get dropped just like that. Woo! Two 
are just going to close this one out in style. And just like that, Fnatic will be locked into playoffs. Schalke as well. The last game will be meaningless in this game. Oh, oh, being 1 and 10, I really didn't believe we'd make playoffs, you know, because it's just really hard. I was just trying to keep that mindset of football, you know, like game by game and winning game by game, just doing my best to help the team. And we'll just keep winning, you know, we had good drafts, good preparation, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a miracle, I guess. Let's go! Well, it's when we got that win versus Fnatic, we we just said, guys, if we like win every game now, we can do it. People called me crazy in the team. They said, Gilius, we are going home soon. Stop, stop all of this bullshit. But I kept believing and we did it. It's interesting. How, how much of an impact did you <laughs> have on the team outside of the game? Because I mean, we also, you on the Rift, right? Uh, whenever I talk to Odo, Neon, Dreams, like outside of the game, they will always say, Gilius, it's almost impossible to make it. Like, just, we, we will just try to win and stuff. Like, I actually believed, by the way. <laughs> I think Abba and me believed, and yeah, we did it. You are like 1 8, and then you asked, asked both of us where we were going. And yeah. then I think Dylan said we were going playoffs. No, Dylan said uh, we're gonna get like six or seven wins and then place like eighth place or yeah. something. You remember, I told you we are going world <laughs> Like oh shit! Okay. Okay, Dylan, talk to me. Uh, we just made it into playoffs after starting to split one in ten. Um, I honestly can't believe it. Uh, I'm just so happy. Like nobody gave up. Like I knew we were good, and we knew we were good, and but we were just from such a deficit, you know, from losing like zero eight at the start of the split. And I don't know. I'm just so grateful for Burke uh, Gilius to come in and bring so much energy. I'm so grateful that Felix just. Abadage just carried so many games and just everybody involved, like all of our players, Neon, Dreams, Odo, like, I don't know, even our academy team helped us so much with our preparation, like, it's, it's incredible and I'm just so happy with that we, that we did it. It's a true miracle. Yeah, it's a real miracle, Rania. I hope, like, I hope now we can go world. It's like, that's the story, right? You do this, then you win playoffs, one or two best fives against hopefully weaker teams, and then you just, you just go worlds. You just go worlds. We'll see. And that would be a nice, nice talk. We just, at that point, really wanted to make Worlds because honestly, if we can win 10 games in a row or eight games in a row or however many we won, like Worlds is, is that same tier of accomplishment. Like it's, it's, we've already kind of proven we can play at that level. So we just really wanted to do this. Quick level one thing. We went over the drafts already. The drafts are team approved and Delano approved. So we're good to go, okay? Well, the rest of the team are trying to fight Schalke. Oh, oh Zazi! Beautiful shockwave. And the Nexus will be taken down. Schalke continue their win streak and take down SK in game one of our summer playoffs. The damage, Arthur's able to escape for now. The shockwave is used as well. Neon is untouched. He's rattling off the damage. Crouch on escape to Robin Dreams manages to land the dead charge. And that is it. That is done. Trick is on the dragon and it doesn't mean a damn thing. Schalke with another dominating victory over SK in the late game. Dreams, the dredge lines. There it is! And there's the Hemo Blake. Odo waits for the perfect moment. That's gonna pop. Not be able to do a lot more though. Abadagi! Oh! It does it again! What a fantastic play! And the shielding to try and get him through. The question is, will it be possible? Because there is this potential flank that Abadagi is setting up. Oh, two flanks as well. Odo from the right. Abadage, That's a hook. Another hook this time. Look at Odo! Odo jumps in. The Hemo Blake catches onto four. Zazi's running away from oh. him. It's done! Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was good. I hate to play this champion. Oh, no, man. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. Stop doing yes. this, man. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Hey, guys. Are you happy with the miracle run? But is it done yet? Is it. it wait, wait. It's not done. We are going world, baby. Hey! <laughs> Including the secret scar I pick on 4 or 5. I figured, actually. I, I looked at it and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> it's literally the exact draft completely. All of it. Wait, so what happens now? Do we just fucking... Yeah. Like, all random, all bits? <laughs> it's also this, the same draft against Mad Lions from the final week of LA. Yeah. 
and also on red side, when enemy plays Stone Lux and Calista Thresh, and you don't play Stone Lux and you don't play Calista Thresh, and there's Caitlyn, you don't really have much room to maneuver. So. Oh, we got a bad oh, Holy shit, it's true. We have, uh, they're, they're actually pretty... We have it's, red, it, it's kind of obvious, to be honest. But the Scarter pick, like... I mean, that was hidden info until now, no? Like, it wasn't even played in an A, that's what I love it, guys. Julius and Solikyu plays Lee Sin, Hecarim, and Lilia? Lilia, and then like two games of Skarner. So that's his Solikyu. But based on those two games, would you say, oh, yeah, we're gonna pick I don't know, I guess. If you look at the Mad Lions series, it was such a fucking free win. But if you look at our macro, compared to the weeks before, it's just such a disaster. All the games were in our hands, and then it just macro disaster. Now, Karzi trying to throw down some damage, but Odawamne will not go down quite so easily. And Gilius, the man they tried to start a fight on, is now turning it right back against them. But Odawamne into the backside. Karzi still alive, trying to run for his life. It's a messy fight. Neon still coming through. Neon still alive. Neon remains up. The double kill for Abadage, and that is disaster for the Mad Lions. Yeah, we, we won the first game. That was pretty great. And at that point, you kind of feel like, oh, holy, holy shit, we're going to make it. Um, but ultimately, I think they made some really good adjustments in draft, and they just played, I think, a lot better than us in, in the series. I don't know, just... going, going. Akali cannot push tower. So I'm keeping. Akali on me, Akali on me, Akali on me. Fight on the tower, fight on the tower. Well. What is dying? Akali, no flash. That's... We just focus on game three, it's fine. But actually, you no, know, we just focus on draft or what? Yeah, we just focus on draft. Because I think what you did was... I... I think... Yeah. You, you know you know I want to stay. Think of? Gilead's trying to finish the kill desperately, but Shadow, he's just prancing around. Oh! He can't be stopped. The double kill coming through. This Make is it. it. It's over. Kill. Mad Lions will bring us to match point in a bloody brawl. Like you see how we're fighting these guys, right? They're not playing that long. I think we had the game. Yes. We just... Yes, 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 yes. We have this next game, the early game is stable, and we just fight like we did in the first game, and even in this game, and we'll be completely fine. But Dreams is now out of CC. Squirrel Sleep though goes wide. The Q, the flash in. Now that's going to be one sleepy Ash, one sleepy TK. The follow up is there. Neon goes down. Dreams simply another name on a list. Shadow is merciless here on the bottom side. That's the double kill for the Lilia. Odawamne in the backside in the meantime fighting Shadow, but he will go down. Mad Lions cleaning up with the team fighter Rome running for the hills, and he's still alive. Mad Lions out execute. Chalka are not strong enough to survive the onslaught, and Mad will turn to the dragon. There are I'm keeping. I didn't listen. I'm here. I'm here. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Dead. Fucking dead. I just want their backline. You guys lost. Being a top team in Europe is being clutch. And on the day, in the best of five, Mad Lions were clutch. There is no room for the Miracle Run any longer. The Mad Lions are here. They've proven themselves to Europe, and now they can prove themselves to the world. It's just so sad that we lost that series because I know for sure that we are better, but on that day, I don't know what happened, but we just made so many mistakes. I'm not that salty about it. Obviously, I was really sad after it happened and the days after, but it is what it is. Um, Definitely a lot to learn when you played two BO5s. It's been a long time since I played BO5s on a high level. They had a really good week of preparation, I think, because they were like very adaptable. Like their play style changed from game one to game two to like a whole new play style, right? And we weren't as good as ad at adapting as they were. And ever since they could adapt in a series and we couldn't, they just uh, rolled over us. After you lose a series like that, you start uh, asking yourself about things that you could have done differently about like draft or preparation or stuff like this and I don't know it's just a lot of stuff coming to mind but it doesn't really matter you know it's just 
a sad moment overall. Like when I started screaming with you guys, you guys were so like, it's already over, like, just get it over with every day. I mean, and then after the you just play, no? Yeah, you're just chilling. Yeah. And you can't really be like, have total motivation, you just have to play. Yeah. And, and just play was, good. After first to zero though, there was some sparks in everyone's eyes. I mean, I think the MVP behind the scenes is for sure Dylan. Uh, Hita has done a lot of amazing work behind the scenes. Helped us so much and done a lot of good drafts and good prep. So, and and on the field, I would say the MVP is for sure Abba Dagger. Had an insane, insane games carrying us really hard. I just started showing off what I'm capable of, and I took responsibility in our wins and losses, and I um, became more of a leader, like instead of being like a sheep. A lot of even the top teams in LEC struggle with some very difficult players. Um, it's a very rough team environment and it can cause a lot of like the ups and downs of some of the top teams. Granted, these teams also have really talented players, so it can be worth it, right? Um, but one of the benefits we definitely had as a team is we had a very good, positive and try hard team environment um, and stuff. Even though you were in the worst situation after the first half, you guys managed to turn the tide around and to reach playoffs in the end. So is there any positives that you could take from this year that will help you next year performing? Well, I think my New Year's resolution <laughs> at the end of the year will be to not start the split 0-8 or like <laughs> at least try to win some games in the first half. So uh, it's not that hard. And yeah, I, I think it just teaches me that anything is possible, honestly. Like, it was a crazy run. I agree. No one expected this, not even ourselves. So I'm really proud of my team, my, my coaching staff, everyone. And we, all, we were all really sad and tilted, but mm -hmm. I think now it's fine. We just talked about our great run we had, how much fun it was, how the team atmosphere changed throughout the second half of the split. So yeah, just next year we will come back stronger and yeah, I can't wait. They don't feel like working Overthinking, I don't mean to let the pain and hurting I was main stage with Tiny at a festival Realities of fuck, just less than 24 hours pass And I'm back to working The wage isn't minimum But when you know your worth is more You make your own curriculum Study in the industry, I know you see me killing them Nice, it felt so real Just wait till Hansama lands one Q and it's all over Yeah, definitely, Hansama Wait, wait! It's a lot of damage, it's not done yet I saw I wrote of death warrant But he's still alive Inex is looking to get a second He gets it! Double kill, the life steal, the death stars. What is happening? What? Inax is turning around to Hunt Summer. Here comes Nukes. That is incredible. Inax, I was convinced you were done. Yeah. I know this life is bright for me. Uh -huh. I know the future's bright for me. Real. I know my teachers lied for me. I do it for the ones that came before and nearly died I don't for need me. Recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position. I'm on a mission, yeah. I'm paying dues, yeah. I'm in position, I'm staying up, it's getting late, you're doing good, I'm doing great. I had to let you go so I could grow and move, uh -huh. when time is of the essence then it's show and prove, True. I had to leave to see what I could do alone, what? and when I get the money then I'm coming home, what? I had to let you go so I could grow and move, what? when time is of the essence then it's show and prove, yeah. I had to leave to see what I could do alone, what?
So, Abba, tell me what is the story of your head? I don't know if you guys heard about the new League of Legends item. It's called Abedag's Death Cap. It gives you 500 AP out of the game.